Hi, I'm Jack. Did you know, the history of astrology goes back over 3,800 years, all the way to about 1800 BCE, during the old Babylonian Empire. One of the most significant documents of Babylonian astrology is the Enuma Anu Enlil. These tablets contain around 7,000 omens spread out between 68 to 70 tablets describing the relationships between the stars and the earth. The first 13 tablets deal with the moon and its appearances throughout the month cycle. They also describe its relationships with the stars in the sky. The 15th to 22nd tablets deal with lunar eclipses regarding the pattern of when and where they happen in the sky and their effects on specific regions on earth. The 23rd to 39th tablets write about the appearances of the sun, its color, how it interacts or influences cloud formations, and solar eclipses. Natural events such as thunder, rain, snow, storms, and earthquakes are depicted in the 40th to 49th tablets. The 50th to the 70th tablets describe the stars and planets in the sky. Babylonian astrology expanded its influences to ancient Egypt, ancient Greece, Rome, India, the Middle Ages, all the way to modern times. Historically, astrology had credibility in the academic society alongside astronomy, meteorology, and medicine until the 19th century with the arrival and widespread practice of the scientific method. Astrology became a pseudoscience and lost its place as a legitimate study in the academic circle because it couldn't provide concrete evidence to support its claims through experiments or empirical data. Although astrology couldn't find its place in the scientific community, many people are still fascinated by it because it reveals why we are who we are and why we do what we do. The most general understanding of astrology begins with our zodiac signs. The word zodiac was developed from the Greek word meaning circle of little animals. There are 12 signs within the zodiac, each occupy 30 degrees of the celestial longitude. One thing to keep in mind when trying to understand astrology is the difference between constellations and zodiac signs. Constellations are based on the locations of the fixed stars in the sky. They are different in sizes and don't fall in perfectly with the zodiac circle. The zodiacs, on the other hand, are conceptual representations based on the constellations, each occupying exactly one twelfth of the zodiac circle. Each zodiac sign represents a distinct type of personality. The signs are sorted into one of four elements which are fire, air, earth, and water along with one of three modes, cardinal, fixed, and mutable. Cardinal signs such as Aries, Libra, Capricorn, and Cancer, are the energetic self-starters of the zodiac. They are the initiators and pioneers of any types of new journey. They are always blessed with enthusiasm and passion. The fixed signs include Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, and Scorpio. They are strong-willed, consistent, and are known for their perseverance. They are great at taking ideas and bringing them to fruition. The mutable signs like Sagittarius, Gemini, Virgo, and Pisces are flexible, adaptable, witty, and quick on their feet. The people born under mutable signs are very resourceful and great at adjusting to different situations and environments. Hope you find this introduction to astrology interesting. If you are curious, there will be more videos covering other topics on astrology, such as each sun sign, the ascendants, and the moon signs that shed light on how they affect a person and those around them. Thank you for your time. See you later.